it's now time for Energy Insights, where you get an inside view and local perspectives of all the oil and gas progress going on in the Mid-Ohio Valley. This program is being brought to you by the Southeastern Ohio Oil and Gas Association, and can be heard every Saturday at 9 a.m. on local radio WMOA AM 1490, and ESPN Radio WJAW FM 100.9 and AM 630. It's now time for the show. Here's Johnny Wharf, your local host. Energy Insights on a Saturday morning, our opportunity to get a little deeper dive into the industry that is oil and gas in the Mid-Ohio Valley. Johnny Wharf along with Barry Bauer and maybe for our listeners uh, just uh, a little bit about your company, what your company is, who, and, you know, how long you've been in it, and, and what you do. I'm with Huffman and & Bowers, and our, our company is oil and gas producing, uh, producers, pluggers. Uh, early on we were drillers as the industry slowed down, and we moved on to bigger and better things. All right, well, we talk about a lot of things, you know, on Saturday mornings as it pertains to oil and gas. And you mentioned in your name or, or what you do, pluggers, so maybe we can hone in on that just because I don't really know what that is. I have an idea uh, that, that you're maybe plugging the well, but uh, why, do you, you know, why do you do it? And then I'll ask you how. Always, with anything, all good things come to an end. So as, as the well gets older, uh, either it'll be done producing where there's lack of production it's not feasible to produce it anymore or for some reason the casing's failed and it, it's letting water into formation to protect that formation we need to get the well plugged to, to stop from contaminating or flooding our oil and gas zones out for later producers okay and barry bowers our guest huffman bowers yes. is is the name of the company and so could i tell if i was looking at a well if one was plugged or one wasn't or is that something that only you would know um, no, you can tell. When it's plugged, it, it's completely gone. Um, the surface, it's restored back to its original contour, and it, all casings, all production equipment has to be removed, pipelines, and it's just back the way it was. There's nothing showing above the surface. I think like our listeners, Barry, I, I learned something new every, you know, by the end of this program, I should know all about this stuff, but actually I forget one week to the next. But talk a little bit about how not i don't want you to think i'm going to go out and plug any wells but i would like to know how you guys do it um first of all we do it all under the io department of natural resources of guidelines normally there's an inspector on site um, we start by extracting the tubing and rods from the well and then we have to put a, a cement or clay plug in the bottom of the hole in the producing formation from there on we um, rip or extract the casing what we have to do to pull it out and then put cement stages across uh, porous zones coming out of the hole. So there's different types. So you mentioned clay and cement, so it's different on uh, different wells? There is. Uh, wells drilled uh, early on and stuff drilled with a sputter drill rig uh, or it can be plugged with uh, prepared clay, and, and all that clay has got to be come from a uh, state-inspected facility. Um, or the newer wells drilled with rotary-type drilling, they're all plugged with cement, Class A cement. And, and it, the wells don't plug solid from top to bottom, but any porous zones or producing zones and, and water, freshwater zones are, are capped with cement. All right. Barry Bowers is our guest here on Energy Insights. And then as it pertains to the business of Huffman Bowers, how long have you, been, how, how long have you guys been around? 1964 uh, was when we incorporated Huffman and Bowers together, but we've been uh, the Huffman's been in the drilling business since the 1940s. All right, and then specifically you, um, I've been in it. My I was on a drilling rig when I was 10 years old. I grew up in it. Oh, that's that's fantastic. And so uh, I guess the last question for you, Barry, is um, think about the years that you've been in this, and, and most recently, I think folks want to know about. Uh, the changes and how much the the recent surge in oil and gas, it were over the past two years, and I know it's been up and down, uh, what it's done for your business. Um, it's good. Business has been good for us. I'm fortunate I have four children, and they're all following the footsteps oh. and staying in the business. Man, that is, that is good to hear, and we thank you for your time uh, with us on Energy Insights. Thank you. All right. Barry Bowers with uh, Huffman Bowers Incorporated here uh, locally on Energy Insights. Until next week, have a great day. Thank you for listening to Energy Insights, brought to you by the Southeastern Ohio Oil and Gas Association. Tune in every Saturday at 9 a.m. on WMOA and ESPN Radio, WJAW, as Johnny Wharf brings you your local and inside perspectives of the oil and gas progress going on in the Mid-Ohio Valley.